Hey there, Jeremy Weiss here with Weiss Tech Hockey, and in this video I wanted to quickly go through a few key points on back checking. Now in previous videos I've mentioned a number of times how uh, well-designed systems will usually lead from one objective into the next. So that's basically what's going to take you down the ice, um, you know, from your defensive zone coverage to your breakout to your neutral zone play and your offensive attack. Um, now, as good of a team as you are, um, eventually you're going to turn the puck over and eventually the other team probably will end up getting a breakout on you. Um, even if you have a you know a flawless forechecking system, um, so here's what we're gonna do as we're back checking. Um, first of all, you're gonna back check with a purpose. Okay, so it's not just get back into the zone for the sake of getting back into the zone. You're gonna get back into the zone and pick up a man in the process. So having your head on a swivel while you're back checking is very important. Um, I'm just gonna lay out a couple of key points that I usually like to stress, and uh, this is it's so basic, but it works really well. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to have our defensemen, they're just basically going to come straight back to their posts. Now, if there's a, you know, an odd man rush situation, obviously that's, you know, you're going to play the odd man situation, but in general, what we're going to say is our defensemen are going to come back, uh, lefty to the left post, righty to the right post, and, um, that's where they're going to set up. Now, the first forward back is going to basically do essentially the same thing. He's going to come straight back and I want him to set up right in the middle. Okay, so we're, we're going straight back with the objective of, of picking up a man along the way and covering the front of the net because that's where the scoring threat is going to be coming from uh, immediately. F2 is going to be doing the same thing, except he's going to be coming back to the high post on the near side post. And F1, same thing again, coming back to the high post on the opposite side. So as you can see, we've got like a five card, I call it five card formation because you know if you look at like a you know a five of spades on a on a playing card, that's the form, that's the pattern that they lay out those five um, shapes of spades or diamonds or you know whatever the card may be. Um, so I call it a five card formation. And the five card formation is our fail safe formation. So from the five card formation, A, we've got the front of the net covered. Um, B We've picked up any men along the way and hopefully neutralized the scoring threat. And um, C, it's really easy to branch off into your proper positions from the five card setup. So let me show you how that works really quickly. And uh, and again, this is keeping along with that same philosophy that uh, you know one objective leads into the next. So our back check is actually going to lead into our uh, proper defensive zone coverage. So we've got our five card formation. Um, let's just give them positions here. So let's say the centerman was in the middle. We've got our left D here, our right D here, right winger, high post, and left winger, other high post, okay? So this is our five card setup. Um, and this is, I like to revert back to this in the back checking setting, but also like if, if you're already in your defensive zone coverage and somebody misses a responsibility and all of a sudden all hell's breaking loose and you're getting shots taken on you, um, revert back into that five card. So that's the fail safe. Um, anytime anything gets screwed up in your play or along the, you know anywhere along the way, um, fail safe back into that five card formation and then you can regain your composure and branch off in your proper positions from there. So let's say that you reverted back into your five card formation um, and now the puck is in the corner. Well, this is really easy to branch off in your proper position from here. We'll send our right defenseman out to pressure. This is assuming our sagging zone coverage. We'll slide our, uh, well, actually, if, if you're using your box plus one coverage, it's even easier. Box plus one, and there it is, right? Um, but if you are using your sagging zone, then the right D will come out. Right winger comes out, centerman slides down, and our left winger slides down. So then you're right back into your regular defensive zone coverage, and you're completely under control taking away the middle of the ice and the middle of the net first and then branching off into your uh, regular defensive zone coverage. So that's how your back check will, uh, you know, completing your back checking objective will put you in proper position for your subsequent defensive zone coverage. And that's it.